Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So today is the last installment in Lessons from Tony. So this is lesson number three of what I've learned really in working with my terrific business partner Tony. Here it is. Well let me tell you a little quick thing. There's a uh, sitcom, a comedy on at night called Modern Family. My wife really enjoys it. Sometimes we watch this. There's a character on Modern Family. His name is Phil. Phil Dunphy. And he makes a lot, he makes, he says something as he's getting the whole family to get ready to get out of the house just in time to set the alarm. And he's trying to race to do this, and yet he's saying go very smooth. He says, slow is fast, fast is slow. Slow is fast, fast is slow. What does that mean? And that's the lesson for today because it is so true. Slow is fast, meaning that if you work deliberately, it's even faster and more effective than if you work quickly. And it doesn't seem like that would be right. It seems like if you just work fast, you'd get done fast. Very often, as you probably know, that doesn't work that way. If you work real fast, it'll often it's a mess, right? So if we work very deliberately and carefully and slowly, it really is fast if fast means effective. And so it's something to keep in mind. I really learned that with Tony. Whether it be, let's say, you're trying to talk to someone in a sales situation, take your time. Slow down. Say you have a corrective interview, you have an employee and you're trying to, to correct them but also kind of redirect them. Don't race through it, right? Just take one minute or two minutes, whatever it is. But during that time, take your time to be in the moment with that person and carefully, deliberately. I think, I think the word deliberately is a good idea. Take your time to work through the problem, not just race through the problem. So many things this applies to. Again, my tendency is to go too fast. And Tony reminds me because his background is in being an engineer. And his, his boss is used to always say, there's always plenty of time to do it right the second time. So we all, we all think we're going to get it uh, real fast and then we make a mistake because we don't have the time. Well, you find time the second time to fix it. So you're better off doing it right the first time. And to do it right the first time, I think when, when working with Tony, I, I really learned to try to think and slow down and work it that way. I know it seems like such a cliche thing, but that cliche point, it's something that he lives and it's really helped our program and it's helped me too. I hope it helps you. Remember, slow is fast and fast is slow. Until next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.